So let me first raise a question about what value actually Sonera can bring to the AI world and especially to the AI and the engineering world. And I would like to um, you know, start with the very, very fundamental question. Of course, AI is machine learning and you need to have data for it. So the very fundamental thing which you need to do and which is the foundation of all of the um, um, capabilities that we can build on top is the data sources, the engineering tool stack. So all the knowledge that you have actually stored or saved in your data sources. And you can see a couple of these um, icons here, uh, which is really crazy. If you're looking into the data source of, of engineers, it's not only the engineering tool stacks like the CAD tools and the PLM world, it's also the databases, it's the ticket systems, it's Excel sheets, it's databases. It's a huge variety of data sources. And this is also why it's so complex to get the data accumulated. But fortunately, you already have a solution for that. And here is also where we position Scenera at the moment as the best value in this area. So we see that Scenera can be, let's call it a connectivity layer, which is on top of your data tool stack, which we can build up pipelines, which we can create high quality training data, which connects the different software tools and data sources together so that at the end, you can really lay the foundation of the AI models. And also we will cover this in the live demonstration later. So once you have built actually the connectivity layer, now you can really play around with AI. And today we will cover especially two topics, the reduced order models who can predict based on the training data something, and then the more fancy stuff, the generative AI topics. And now the question, what is it all good for? And if you ask yourself, what is the most likely benefit you will get out of AI it's definitely efficiency and time saving. So similar to automation techniques, these models have the ability, for example, to reduce simulation times, to predict uh, values that you do not need to work on by scratch. So huge opportunity here in efficiency. The second thing is definitely collaboration and knowledge sharing. So you can, yeah. for example, uh, provide a colleague with a model who has access to the data which has been trained on. You have experienced this in your personal life, it's ChatGPT, amazing stuff. And then I guess the last one, the really interesting one, maybe for the designers who have worked with stable diffusion models and these kind of stuff, creativity and innovation is just something which AI can do really, really good, especially the generative AI topics. Mm -hmm.